Hey, how's it going everyone? Bass here and happy Friday to everyone. So in today's video, I want to go over the final injury report for the upcoming Sunday night football game week 14 Green Bay Packers versus Chicago Bears. So obviously I'm going to start with the Green Bay Packers injury list first. And at the top of the list here, we do have Devontae Adams, who was kind of bugged with that hamstring injury all week, was limited all week. Definitely something to monitor. He's obviously going to play, but hamstring injuries are no joke, especially with wide receivers. So Surely something to monitor. Next up on this list, we do have David Bakhtiari, who is still out and still not practicing all week. Just kind of frustrating at this point that we haven't seen David Bakhtiari out here yet, it being week 14. A lot of us thought, you know, we might even see him as, as early as week 9, week 10. And then obviously he had a little bit of a setback, had the arthroscopic knee surgery, um, still getting over that, still recovering from that. So I'm just hoping he practices it in some form next week. Then next on this list, we do have Randall Cobb, which was kind of the big news of the week in terms of injury. Randall Cobb, it was revealed that he did have a core injury instead of that groin injury that we thought he had during the Rams game. And pretty much Matt LaFleur said, you know, this is a big injury. This is a significant injury. So Randall Cobb didn't practice all week and is out. Um, I won't be surprised if the Packers put Randall Cobb on IR. And honestly, I think it'll be we'll be lucky if he comes back for playoffs because just like last year, Alan Lazard had a core injury. He was he had surgery. He was out for seven weeks. Now, Randall Cobb, it's not a fact if he's having surgery or not yet, but it's not a good injury. Then we have Kevin King with his hip and knee injury. He was limited Wednesday, but full participant for Thursday and Friday. He is good to go for Sunday night. And then finally, Aaron Rodgers with that toe injury finally practiced. It was in limited fashion, but he did practice today. So Kurt Benkert didn't get all the quarterback one reps today like he has been uh, previously this week. And that's the first time Aaron, well, the second, excuse me, the second time Aaron Rodgers has practiced since October 27th, which is wild to say because that's over a month. Um, you know, that's, that's a long way out since, you know, he hasn't really been practicing practicing at all but as I said in previous videos if there is someone that doesn't necessarily need practice and will still go out and and play at a high level it is Aaron Rodgers then we have Malik Taylor who finally returned this week from that abdomen injury he was limited on Wednesday and a full participant on Thursday and Friday he is good to go will be a nice boost to the special teams and also might get some offensive snaps with Randall Cobb being out now I still think the uh, pecking order would be economy of St. Brown over him in terms of offense but still good to have Malik Taylor back regardless Mercedes Lewis is good to go obviously just his veteran rest that's why he's on this list. And then Devondre Campbell finally returned back to practice today after being out uh, with COVID-19. He served his 10-day quarantine and he finally came back in a limited fashion today, uh, just easing into things. It says he's questionable. I think he's definitely going to go um, unless anything randomly pops up where he feels terrible for some reason, but I think he's 100% ready to go and he will play Sunday night. And then finally, MVS was added to the injury report on Friday. He was not listed with this injury on Wednesday and Thursday. Then he was added today, limited participant with a back injury. So certainly something to monitor. He doesn't have a designation, but again, just like Devontae Adams, something to monitor. Now moving on to the Chicago Bears injury list, which is surprisingly longer than the Green Bay Packers. First up, we do have Andy Dalton here. He is doubtful, uh, so de probably not going to play. Uh, Nick Foles will be the backup to Justin Fields. Then we have Mario Edwards here, who is limited on Wednesday, but a full participant on Thursday and Friday. He's listed as questionable, but considering he was full participant on Thursday and Friday, my bet is he does play. And then we have Justin Fields here, who is cleared from his ribs injury and was has been a full participant since Wednesday. Um, I was kind of wondering, you know, last week with with his rib injury if we're going to end up playing uh, Nick Foles as a starting quarterback because Andy Dalton obviously with that left hand injury as well they could have been down to Nick Foles their third string quarterback but Justin Fields is ready to go and will start Sunday. Wide receiver Marquise Goodwin is doubtful. He was limited on Wednesday and then didn't practice at all Thursday and Friday, so most likely not going to play. He's pretty much their fourth string wide receiver, but he is also a pretty good deep threat, so they won't have him in this game Sunday. Akeem Hicks is also questionable for Sunday. He was a full participant as well Friday, so just like Edwards, my bet he does play. It feels like Akeem Hicks is always on the injury report questionable for before a Packers game. It seems like that, that that's the case every time. David Montgomery with a plethora of injuries will start this Sunday. Uh, he was out last time when when the Packers played the Bears. We saw um, Khalil Herbert starting at running back rather than David Montgomery. So definitely a change up there in game plan. And then finally, Cassius Marsh, a depth linebacker for the Chicago Bears, is out for this game. So overall, the Green Bay Packers aren't looking too bad injury wise going into this game. Obviously, they've been so banged up all year. Um, finally, Jair Alexander returned to practice this week, um, but they've been so banged up all year, but they honestly don't look too terrible going into this game. It's Sunday night football in Lambeau. I fully expect the Packers to go out there and put a beat down on the Bears. But that about does it for today's video. I just wanted to give you guys the quick injury update for this upcoming game. Chicago Bears, Green Bay Packers, Sunday night football. Let's go. So on that note, I'll catch you on the next one. As always, go Pack Go.